Cue the Jeopardy music. How is it possible that Vita Coco has a hot new release, the number one spot, on an item that has 3,000 reviews and been around for over a thousand days? I'm gonna show you right now how it's possible and how you could do it. Transition on over, Vita Coco. Here we go. New releases in the grocery and gourmet food category. Right here, number one, 3,000 reviews. What? Let's click into it. All right, so we got Vita Coco Organic Coconut Water Pure. You can see 3,000 reviews here. Number one, new release. What is going on? They variated, not dissipated. So when it comes to launching new products on Amazon, sometimes people say, throw out the old listing, we're gonna bring in a new one. What happens then is you lose all that momentum, all that visibility, all those reviews, and it's really hard to sort of build it back up. So what they did is they variated instead of destroying the old listing. So here's the old one, right? And you can see over time, this has been sold by Amazon, actually over 2,000 days, right? Anything in the orange was meant, it was sold by Amazon. You can see starting in August, no longer. So either Amazon's out of stock on this one or they're dissipating it and they're bringing it over to the pure organic version of their product. Maybe they're going all organic, maybe they're just out of stock on the old one. You can see this listing was launched 18 days ago. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get the new release badge. You put it on as a variation, right? It's just an organic form of the old product. So to me, since it's being sold direct to Amazon, probably within the T and C's. Is it? I would love to know if you agree with that or not agree. They're obviously running a coupon here as well, so that's probably helping. What are your opinions and thoughts about variations? That's all I got. It's a quick one today. Shaka!